In the last two weeks, the UK has gone from torrential rain to blistering sunshine. I love riding in the summer. The days are longer, the trails are running a lot faster, and there's far less mud to clean off your bike afterwards. After having such a long winter, many of us have forgotten how to ride in the warm weather. Oh, I've done it. So here are my four top tips to mountain biking in the heat. Of course, hydration is gonna be number one. This is gonna be the biggest factor that contributes to your workload in the heat. When exercising, we lose body water at an alarming rate through sweating. So to keep your body functioning properly and to help regulate your body temperature, hydration is a must. The research says that if our hydration drops just 2%, we can lose up to 10% of our physical or mental performance. Now that's huge. So, drinking before you get thirsty is really, really important when you're on the trail. Now, however you like to carry your water, whether it's a bottle or backpack, just make sure that you've got more than enough for the ride ahead. When planning your ride, it can be a good idea to head out when it's a bit cooler. Riding either early in the morning or later in the evening can be a more agreeable temperature. If you're riding during the hottest part of the day, you can risk issues like overheating or even sunburn. Being too hot can also affect your physical output and reaction times. So if you're looking for that Strava win or just pushing your limits on a bike park, perhaps don't do it on the hottest part of the day. A natural byproduct of exercise is heat. Exercise alone will therefore increase your core body temperature. When riding in even hotter weather, your core temperature will rise even quicker. So one of the best ways to help maintain a stable temperature is to stop regularly. This tip is a good one, because first of all, it's free. And also, it doesn't require any extra kit. If you ride like me, I normally just bomb it along without stopping for ages. In the heat, this may not be the best idea. Stopping regularly is easy enough to do when you're riding trails or downhill because there are natural stopping points at the end of sections. But if you're out on a long ride, like a cross country or you're out bike packing, you may want to plan in some stopping points at regular intervals. Taking a few minutes to cool off, chat to your mates and taking your surroundings can also help you enjoy your ride a lot more. It should come as no surprise that wearing a few less clothing items while riding can help to cool you down. Now, I'm not saying you should get out your best tight-fitting roadie clothing, but wearing a thin breathable layer can work wonders. I'm not just talking about t-shirt and shorts, this also applies to your other kit, such as knee pads, gloves, and helmet too. My helmets are lightweight and really breathable, meaning I get more airflow as I ride, which helps to cool me down. I love wearing shorts to ride all year round, Shorts and short sleeve tops are a great way to allow heat to escape from the body, helping to regulate your temperature. Buying some technical clothing or clothing with air vents can definitely help you achieve this. There's nothing better than riding on a sunny day, so why not prepare properly so you can make the most of it? These are my top four tips for riding in the heat. There are many more things that you can do to maximize your riding in hotter temperatures, but if you nail these four, you can't go far wrong. Why not let me know your best tips for riding in the heat? Put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.